Welcome back. This is We Ride Motos, and I'm Glenn. And I'm Carrie. In this episode, we're going to go on one of the most famous hikes in the Dolomites, the Tre de Creme. No, I think it's Cham. <laughs> I don't know. We Ch- seriously can't. <laughs> you look at the map, yeah, but, yeah. but that's where we're going today. So yeah, I'll post it. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I think maybe we'll see some cows today. I'm sure we will. <laughs> yeah. We got up pretty early today. This hike is very popular and there's limited yeah, parking. You really have to get there early if you're going to get parking. Yeah, so we headed out. We had a, I think we had a quick breakfast at the hotel and uh, we got on the road. Yep. I, I think it was only about an hour away. That yeah, wasn't very right. far. Yeah. Yeah, just a zip. And then we, we got there and uh, as you got closer and closer, the traffic picked up. But yeah. I'm not usually one to to filter through traffic, but let me tell you, when I know there's limited parking, mm-hmm. uh, Pepe got Pepe was doing some filtering today, and yes. when we got to the gates, uh, what's it, thirty bucks for a car, thirty euro, sorry, yeah. for a car, and I think a motorcycle is twenty maybe, twenty euro, yeah. yeah. And what was there on that sign? And at the gate where you pay. It's like a parkade that has that countdown yeah, timer, it right? it had 45 people left, so yeah. we were really I was close. Cut, I was cutting the line to get to the front on yeah. that one. So. Now, in Europe, they expect bikes to kind of go ahead, so it's not like... Nobody really cares. It's an unexpected thing, yeah it's, yeah. it's something that you just are supposed to do. They kind of look at you funny if you don't. Yeah, when, when you're not filtering, they're wondering what's wrong with you. Yeah. So. It was a pretty steep... It was a pretty good climb up there. That one it fella, was. I don't know what he's driving, a BMW or an Audi car, and he was steaming out the front. But yeah, He wasn't even right. slowing down. He was just giving yeah. her. So. Um, it's from the gate. It's seven kilometers in up to the parking lot. When you get to the parking lot, the road that's right to the immediate right, and it's quite steep and it looks a little mm. freaky, but if you go up that one, there's motorcycle parking right at the top, right beside the, right I'll call at, it the gift center, but the little building. So yeah, we got smart. We took the other way and then we ended up hiking all the way back down the hill. Yeah, and then on the way back to the bike at the end of the hike, we had to go all the way back up again. Yeah, was, so yeah. when you go there, yeah. just take the turn to the right and go to the parking. Yeah. So this mountain range is part of the UNESCO World Heritage since 2009. It's kind of their iconic symbol for for the Dolomites. It's yeah. a big mountain and it's funny because it doesn't look like three peaks when you start out, but as you work your way around, mm-hmm. it becomes obvious. Yeah, you see it yeah. better at certain points for yeah. sure. But also just the mountains surrounding this area is absolutely gorgeous. It's a very, very nice area. So we joined the throngs of people. Yes. Um, in the beginning, there's just a big wide path, and it's it's got a lot uh, of people. But, but uh, they wheedle down pretty quick. It's 
quite a, a, a front in the wars, I think. Yeah, the, the, the Austrians and the Italians in the World War One. This they fought against each other, and this area was um, a big area where that happened. A lot of battles. Yeah, there's a lot of trenches and bunkers and stuff that. Apparently, a lot of tunnels and yeah, things ca- all caverns the in the mountains. Yeah. Um. So and then a lot of people lost their lives here. I think what was it? Uh, 1916. There was this huge avalanche in the winter and it yeah. killed over 10,000. A lot of the um, troops got caught. Men. Yeah. Yeah. Which is very sad. Um, so this church was built um, as a, a memorial. A memorial church, yeah, yeah for for the people that um, lost their lives. I think these lives. people, were, I'm going to guess on this, were called the Apollini or Alpellini. Yeah. But they were they were the Italians. I thought that was the Italians. Yeah. 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 One, one of their divisions. So they built yeah. the they, as a memorial. They built the church. I and, think the Alpinis were the sharpshooters. Mm. And then there was also some other monuments down below when we go to see the cows. There was two monuments down in that, go see the cows. In that area that were, were built for a memorial. And it's pasture land. Yes. Somebody got her pictures it's of her cows. cows. <laughs> yeah. When we got up to the, the little rest area at the bottom of to get to the saddle, there's two paths. One that goes around, looks nice and easy. Nice and gentle. And one that's a little more direct and more vertical and crumbly and crappy. Yeah. And guess which ones we did? <laughs> we did the crappy one. Ben wanted to go the shorter way. <laughs> yeah, it was. I don't think it was any shorter it by was, far. It was a bit of a scramble, but yes, yeah, it was. It got our got our heart pumping. Yeah. <laughs> And when we got when we got up to the top, there was I don't know what, 50, 60 little school kids oh, up I there. Oh, I know, I know. So yeah. if those little wankers can do it, so yeah, can I. That's right. <laughs> Now we're at the summit or the saddle, and we're heading. So we're going to continue back around. We're going to make a, a whole loop around the mountain. Yeah. The neat thing about this hike is you get to hike right around these yeah. peaks. So you have two choices. Well, kind of three, but two that we could see. One that kind of runs right along the base of the mountain, mm-hmm. uh, in the talus slope kind of stuff, and one that's further out into the sort of valley, and that's the way we did. I mean, it's it's. You're just back from the mountain, yeah. so you, you know you can see the mountain. It was really kind nice. of like a meadow, but it looked like a debris field. Yeah, it was just. It had a lot boulders of boulders, and, and, um, and the other one kind of went up in the actual debris cone of the of the peaks. Yeah, right along the yeah, right in the slope. Yeah, so this one looked a little better. We went down through the debris yep. field. So we hiked, we hiked all the way along that till we got to the far end. There was another, another refugio there. Yeah, I think we went in to look, or thought we'd go in and get a water or something to drink or something, but man, it was packed. It's so busy, yeah. And I hope you got a picture of it because there was the, the you, you got to have permits to use drones and stuff in Europe oh, yeah. and stuff. And people are up there using drones all the time. People were doing it when we were there. And they have a sculpture made out of the crash drones. Yeah.
after we left yeah. the drone place, yeah. we hiked up and you kind of go up through another valley, a little saddle, and there's some really nice meadows that, that mm. fall away from this uh, down into the valley. And yeah. uh, so we sat there for quite a while and yeah, that was chilled. A... Yeah, and then you enter the debris cone and you actually walk across the... Right across the face of it. Yeah, what are they, scree or something they call that rock. Yeah. There was a path through that. Yeah, and then it was back down to, yeah. well, back down to the original Refugio building. And then up to Pepe, because Pepe was at the top. Yeah, we had we a, left him. We're tired after the day's hike and we had to hike up the yeah. hill. We left the, the parking lot, headed down the hill, stopped for coffee in the little town down there. And yeah, where the lake is. Yeah, there's yeah. a big lake there, yeah, was, biggish lake. Oh, stopped there yeah. and then headed home. And that's it for this episode. And then in the next episode, we are headed to the Stelvio Pass. <laughs> One of the world's most dangerous roads. Is it? I think it is. Oh. Was well, cool. for me. Yeah, cool. <laughs>